Good Saturday morning, skiers and snowboarders. This is Mike Doble at SkiSoutheast.com, and this is Saturday, January 29th, and uh, another wintry weekend for the third weekend in a row. Uh, we've seen as much as six inches of snow that has fallen here across the high country area of western North Carolina, specifically atop Beach Mountain Resort. Uh, where that six inches takes them now to 44 inches of snow on the season. That's pretty good. It's, that's almost normal for uh, the halfway mark, which we'll get into more of that. Uh, Cataloochee Ski Area, Maggie Valley, picked up six inches of snowfall. Uh, it's eight degrees there this morning. It's pretty cold. Uh, Sugar Mountain reported a little bit more, but it looks like the official snow spotter atop Sugar Skiing Country Club shared that uh, Sugar Mountain picked up about six inches of snowfall as well. Uh, we're seeing like four inches at uh, Canaan Valley, four inches at Timberline Mountain, uh, Snowshoe picked up three inches, uh, Omni Homestead and Bryce Resort in Virginia also picked up uh, three inches and three and a half inches. Uh, Wintergreen same three inches. Um, Ober Gatlinburg over in Tennessee, the Great Smoky Mountains, um, picked up uh, 2.4 inches of snow and interestingly just seven miles uh, away from the ski area at a higher elevation uh, they saw a foot of snow over the last 24 uh, hours. Uh, the rest of the ski mountains Appalachian, Massanutten, Winter Place and Wisp Resort all picked up anywhere from one to two inches of new natural snow. But that's going to create uh, fantastic conditions uh, pretty much across the region as long as you're willing to brave uh, some extraordinarily cold wind chills. Uh, highs today should be in the single digits at some locations to uh, perhaps in the teens. And those winds will create wind chills at minus or below zero. So be sure to bundle up, be sure to have good face covering, uh, good gloves, uh, good head covering, etc. I've left this uh, image that we're looking at here. This is a live shot at the new Mountain City, Tennessee web camera that's uh, brought to you by Jerry Redden and, and their team at the Redden Team Real Estate. Now, this has been providing us some amazing views. And as you can see over here, we've got some wild turkey uh, scratching their way through the, the uh, snowfall there to get to uh, either the grasses or perhaps some deer corn or whatever that... Uh, Jerry and Margo and their team have put out there, but we've been getting some spectacular uh, imagery from this live shot looking over uh, into uh, Tennessee portions of uh, around trade and Mountain City, Tennessee area. Just absolutely gorgeous shots. Uh, be sure to check out resortcams.com uh, for all of the live shots. I'm going to go ahead and kind of take you guys on a tour now uh, of the ski areas because I know that's what you want to see. Uh, I'll start off with Deep Creek Lake. Uh, we're going to go kind of north to south as much as possible. Uh, but uh, Wisp Resort up at Deep Creek is looking in awesome condition. Uh, looks like they've picked up four to five inches of snowfall over the last 48 hours. Uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Their conditions are, are perfect. Uh, and uh, you can check out the snow report at skisoutheast.com to see um, you know, all of the slope openings. A lot of the skiers are, are quite obviously after this being now the third weekend in a row with natural snowfall, uh, we're seeing a lot of the skiers now at 100% open and the ones that are not at 100% are, are very, very, very close. You can see there on the uh, deck beside Deep Creek Lake uh, on the tables there, a good five, six inches of, snow, of snowfall. So uh, very good conditions, very cold conditions there. Uh, let's go ahead and go now to Canaan Valley Resort where you're going to see kind of a side shot over here. I mentioned Canaan Valley uh, ski area uh, picked up four inches of natural snowfall according to David Lesher's uh, reporting station there and you can see some uh, some gorgeous conditions and as usual uncrowded slopes. I'll give you the mid-station camera looking back down now. Uh, going to see some uh, Pat powder and uh, you know some windblown drift powder snow conditions there certainly at all the West Virginia ski areas, really all the ski areas across uh, the southeast and mid-Atlantic. Um, see if we can't provide a quick shot here. There's a groomer preparing the uh, snow tubing park now, so 
at that Canaan Valley as well. Uh, see if we can get to Silver Creek a little earlier. Yep, there it goes. Uh, nice conditions there, powdery snow. Uh, right now, uncrowded slopes at 9 a.m. The ropes probably drop, so you're going to probably see some skiers here at the bottom. And you can see some flurries uh, still uh, coming down just uh, there. Let's go to the basin camera. Not the best camera in terms of perspective, but um, yeah, you can't really see anything other than the fact that uh, Shaver's Lake here at the bottom of the mountain is frozen over. Uh, here's a live shot at the boathouse camera. At the bottom of Ball Hooter, some skiers have already made their way down after that 9 o'clock rope drop just one minute ago. Uh, conditions are wintry wonderland and gorgeous there. And you can see probably three to five inches of snow on the tabletops there as well. Earlier when I was looking at the Shaver Center camera, uh, there we go, um, I was seeing just what I'm seeing right now. Pretty moderate, uh, significant snowfall still coming down. Uh, looks like the sun is trying to break out there in the distance, and, and that's given us some pretty cool effects there. I uh, was not seeing a really good shot uh, of the village, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, you can see people making their way there, and some rather significant snowfall still coming down. Um, I'll go over to Timberline Mountain now, where you can see the sun is breaking through. Uh, just a moment ago, I was looking at the summit camera, and I captured it as potentially one of the photos of the day that we'll share on the front of Ski Southeast, so be sure to check that out. Uh, but Timberline is looking awesome, and can you imagine the conditions there in Davis, West Virginia today? Uh, Timberline Mountain, this is the sunny shot. Actually, there was a more brilliant sun, sunshine so shot, or say that three times fast, uh, here at the summit camera at Timberline earlier, uh, but it's still quite a beautiful shot. This camera does pan, tilt, and zoom around a little bit later on. I think they've got it on a timer, and um, so you can check back to that. And, and all of these camera views, by the way, are obviously viewable at resortcams.com. Uh, our own Kenny Griffin was telling me that um, last, I, th I guess it was two weekends ago with the more significant snowfall, the 16th and 17th of January, uh, that we had over 750,000 views in one single day on resort cams. Uh, so he's uh, amped up and ramped up the server scenarios to support that traffic. And we hope you guys will not only visit resortcams.com, but be sure to, to share that with your friends as well. Uh, beautiful shot here, some snow still falling. The skies are starting to clear here at Winter Place Resort. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, um, in beautiful Jet, West Virginia. Uh, just not, you know, not even quite 20 miles across the uh, Virginia, West Virginia line in the southern part of the state. But beautiful conditions there uh, for Tom Wagner and, and uh, their team here at Winter Place. Uh, we'll go down now to uh, the uh, Virginia ski areas, looking first at the Winter Green camera, top of skyline there. That's always a gorgeous shot. You can see the sun is now broken out. Uh, and casting some beautiful, beautiful views uh, at really all of our ski areas of the southeast. Uh, gorgeous views there. I would call them Kodak moments, but a lot of you guys are probably too young to understand what a Kodak moment is. Uh, but these are, are gorgeous scenes that we're seeing now that the uh, storm has passed uh, on out and above. Um, most of the areas now, and you're starting to see some, some gorgeous, gorgeous shots. Uh, that's a nice shot there. Let's go to um, base camera at Massanutten, where we are panning back into, there we go. Now you'll be able to see uh, some nice clear shots there at the base of Massanutten. Uh, Massanutten also picked up a couple of inches of snowfall, right about two inches reportedly official uh, there at Massanutten Ski Area. So beautiful conditions there. And uh, Bryce Resort, we don't ever really get a great shot from Bryce. This is an older camera, but you can see the sun has now broken out there as well. Uh, in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, you can see some significant snowfall is still coming down. Uh, we saw the same thing happening at Wolf Ridge just a little while ago. Uh, Wolf Ridge's web cameras are um, very blurry right now for some reason. Not sure exactly what they've got going on. <clears throat> so I'm not going to share that with you right now this morning, but uh, we're able to witness uh, some pretty good, pretty deep snowfall 
uh, happening there. This camera is going to take its time to pan around, but you can see uh, plenty of snow still falling, uh, as I said, at Obergatlinburg. Uh, they picked up 2.4 inches of snow, and as I mentioned earlier, just literally less than 10 miles away, uh, over 6,000 feet elevations there, they picked up uh, significantly uh, more snowfall there. Um, Winterfest is going on in downtown Blowing Rock. I'll give you a quick shot here of the downtown area in Blowing Rock. You can see the sun has come out there as well, as it has here at my home in beautiful Sleepy Hollow. Uh, gorgeous conditions uh, there in Blowing Rock for their Winterfest festivities. Our own Brad Panovich, uh, meteorologist Brad Panovich, should be there uh, today. I think he's going to have a uh, easy time making snow. He always does a snow making uh, demonstration there, I believe in the park area, and uh, he should have no problems doing that today with temperatures in the single digits and teens. So going to be gorgeous. Um, we'll take a quick scan around. This is downtown uh, Boone at King Street Boone. Great shot there. I'll take you now up to the uh, higher elevations at Beach Mountain Parkway. This is um, brought to you by our good friends at Beach Mountain Chalet Rentals there on Beach Mountain Parkway. This is a shot looking up and over the rentals building at the uh, ski resort at Ski Beach. And a beautiful, almost a pristine postcard looking shot there. You can see the winds howling as well. The flags are, are flying. And uh, Beach Mountain Parkway, nevertheless, is still moving as far as traffic's concerned. Uh, we would suggest four-wheel drive or chains if you have them. Uh, but good conditions there as the traffic seems to be moving along rather briskly. But beautiful conditions there. I'll see if I can give you a quick shot of uh, Buckeye Lake. This is a new camera that uh, went live. This will kick back over to uh, Beach Mountain Parkway. This is past the entrance of Beach Mountain. So if you're going up Beach Mountain and go past the camera that we just saw a moment ago at Beach Mountain Chalet Rentals, this is on further uh, up the mountain, uh, past the entrance to the ski area. This will now pan back around to a frozen and snow-covered Buckeye Lake. So that's a, a gorgeous shot there as well. Uh, see if we can give you a shot here at the lodges of Eagle's Nest. You can see some snow still flying. Cloud cover is kind of low there, so we're not really getting a phenomenal shot. But when the sun comes on out, that's going to be pretty remarkable, to say the least. Uh, we'll take you to Sugar Skiing Country Club. This is at the top, uh, panning down what is uh, Oma's Meadow. Used to be the big red slope on, uh, on, on Sugar. So these are all pretty, pretty great camera shots right now. Uh, see if I can give you a couple of long range shots. This is High Brighton, High Brighton, let me see if I can say it right. High Brighton Mountain in uh, Lenore, aimed back over towards uh, the north, uh, kind of back up our way towards the mountains. Not getting a good shot from that one. And getting a rather skewed shot there looking west. Uh, but all of these are pretty phenomenal shots right now. I'm just trying to kind of scan around, see some of the nicer ones I can get you. Um, this is pretty clouded over right now, Gatlinburg Summit web camera. Uh, all of these cameras, again, are viewable if you want to kick over to uh, resortcams.com and just kind of scroll around. Um, pretty much leave you there. I'll just come on back now to where we started out, uh, where the wild turkey is still scratching. Uh, this camera, by the way, if you're a nature lover, this camera's got uh, some awesome shots in the evening. Um, that, that area that you're seeing there that's kind of scratched out that the turkeys are playing out. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, deer there. I think we saw seven or eight deer yesterday afternoon uh, as I was looking in. So uh, be sure to, to uh, visit us regularly and often. Uh, be sure to check out our Facebook and Twitter feeds for SkiSoutheast.com. Uh, we also have uh, information on Facebook for resort cams uh, as well. So be sure to check all those things out. Uh, also view the uh, snow report at skisoutheast.com today. And uh, again, share it with your friends. Tell them about us. We'd appreciate that. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome weekend.